so in our circle we just sit wherever is comfortable for us and we sit and um, you can start with perhaps a song or a meditation or something to call you present to really ground you in that space because a lot of us have had busy days at work or children or whatever it is that we've been doing um, so it's really important to sit once we've said our hellos to sit in that space a bit of quiet a minute or whatever and have a meditation or a song or someone guide us through something and then uh, whoever would like to begin to speak picks up um, our object uh, it could be a bowl, a crystal, something that's um, symbolic of um, of a union, I guess, or something sacred. Just something sacred, yeah. Um, and we pick that up, and whoever's holding that item is the one who speaks. Um, and we go around the circle in that way until everyone has spoken, and then we close the circle, and and we leave and um, it is really important that no one interrupts that woman as she's speaking whoever's holding the object um, and it's also to be mindful of how many women are in the circle so if, if we know that we've only got two hours and there's 10 15 women we we already know that our share will have to be shorter than if there were you know four women and that's the beauty of um, sitting in circle, that it's always changing. It's, it's, it's always changing, just the way as women, we're always changing every day. We're changing, our feelings changing. So it's really lovely to honor that. Um, if there are many women, our share is short. And that can be hard, and that can be challenging, and that can be uncomfortable, but it's part of the healing, it's part of the learning to be succinct. And I can speak personally of that. When I started sitting in circles, I. I can talk and talk and talk and talk and, you know, it's just who I am. But that practice of learning how to speak my truth from my heart or from my belly, from my womb, and have that in a succinct, short share has been such a teacher for me and I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, that's so interesting, that element of sharing in that way. And I think, yeah, it's wonderful for all women to kind of be able to tap into experience the more of the essence of the truth but mm. as well as the the unfolding you know reality yeah. of the the essence of the yes. truth you know and and both are so important and mm. relevant mm. and um, they they're, they're both just as acknowledging they're just very different in their totally. in their form and I love um, me and you Vanessa we're <laughs> in uh, the same circle mm. Um, beautiful circle we gather once a week which was a difficult thing to decide mm. upon I remember at the beginning there was a lot of um, how many were were we at the beginning 16 to 18 16 to 18 mm. and not we didn't all show up for that first very first meeting but in that well, quite a few of us did and and it was this thought of when it was brought up we meet every once a month every two weeks uh, and then every week it was a little bit I felt and mm. un, you know unraveled a bit of it mm, I can commit to meeting once a week it's a lot for a mum who's got you know because mm. we often meet after dinner time so between seven and nine mm. and or at least that's we aim for that <laughs> 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 and uh, and it is important we do like Vanessa's saying it's really important to honor everybody's time and commitment and, and what they've had to do in order to get yes. there that night so yep. and when they need to be home they might have a babysitter or that's a partner right. that's working late or whatever it is you know and yep. leaving it off most of the women in the circle are mothers not yep. all of them but yep. most of them are and just honoring every single person's commitment in that space mm. and um, their time and energetic commitment is so important and such a great mm. gift actually because it allows us to show up as women mm. and to do this very powerful healing and and um and experience but also to do it with respect and honoring of what is right for each woman in that in that space and yeah. i think that in its own right is very very healing and very very important mm. yeah and An important way to integrate mm. into our world i think to bring that um feminine wisdom and power and beauty into the world if we mm. can if we can um be succinct mm. <laughs> in that then i think it will be greater received and more available to everyone mm. and also having that experience of fully being heard mm. allows us to again kind of drop into that 
feeling of safety and and acknowledgement and then when we're out in the world you know navigating what it means to speak our truth to our partners to our children to our friends to our parents to our you know co-workers mm. to the world around us if we're coming from a place of never being heard it's yeah. almost like this, uh, you know it's an right. immense struggle and, and that could mean something else for every single woman the fa- it's so faceted you know mm. but when you're when you've had that kind of recurring weekly or monthly experience where you're being heard on a regular basis mm. and it and it's all in 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 kind of like you know in awe and and grace for that woman so mm. we're not just listening to her we're listening with this deep understanding that it's going that we're honoring her mm. and her unique story her unique mm. facets her unique life and and truth yeah we don't take it on as our own Absolutely, we don't you know yes. that's another really powerful yes. gift that we're giving her we're yes. not weaving a hook into her and like oh you poor thing yeah, or, no, or, or no. oh my god that's amazing mm. you know there's none of that going on there's just pure simple allowing that woman to to drop into whatever it is that mm. she needs to in that moment because it's it's also ever changing and that's again mm. such a powerful experience for us to acknowledge that yes we are women mm. we fluctuate we change we're different to yep. be together regularly in circle we see that mm. we witness that and the witnessing allows us to walk out into the world knowing that about ourselves no yep. oh actually yeah it was a bit low yesterday and this week I'm feeling awesome and now I feel connected and now I feel disconnected and that's life's shit like the worst <laughs> the pits I've yeah. never felt so bad yeah. in my whole life yeah. and we've had so many experiences like that oh, in circle absolutely and then the next minute we're like that divine change. you know divine connections yes. and I trust the life and world and and so women yeah. do fluctuate yeah. and it's so beautiful to be able to acknowledge that mm. we step out into that into the world as mm. honoring of that honoring mm. of our true natures yeah and also you know in saying that mm. it's important whatever is spoken in the circle you never speak of that anywhere else so whatever mm. is spoken in the circle stays in the circle and it's even important when a woman shares something big in circle perhaps she doesn't want to talk about that when you bump into her the next day or even if you're having coffee she may not even want to talk about what she spoke about in circles mm. so whatever is spoken in circles stays there and we're never to hold a woman to what she mm. said you know you said you were going to do it. you know it's you know mm. it's like you were just saying we're ever changing it's that flow and mm. um as my teacher jane hardwick collings mm. says we listen with the ears of our heart mm. you know and that's what we're offering and to offer someone um listening to offer someone just to be held through listening to them that is huge mm, that's so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> well it's 12 th- uh, sorry it's 11 30 and you're with pregnancy birth and beyond um our beautiful guest vanessa wood mother of two um naturopath of 10 years um participant and uh, overseer of circles and instigator of women's circles and Mm. um, deep honorer of women's Mm. journeys and delights and and beautiful beautifulness in this world is here with us today and I'm Anna Leotia and we are going to go to a very short break and we'll be right back with you and to chit chat a little bit more about this and also how you can get in touch with Vanessa if you have any questions and um, we'll of course also put some information on the Facebook page and on our website once the podcast is up later on this week with some links and some information if you are interested in um, starting your own circle or just have questions mm-hmm. about it and yeah want to know a little bit more so we back with you very shortly I'm going to put on a, another song from Haba Not Nechama this one is called Boi and Boi in uh, Hebrew means come and uh, so these lovely ladies they sing in Hebrew and in English and this next song is in Hebrew and it's a call to women to come wake up from your uh, sleep and take me to you to the um, yeah to the distance where of course nobody has heard about me mm. so come come and tell me about femininity which Mm. has been dipped in joy and naturalness and hopes big hopes on your shoulders and uh, another despair is coming to come is hurrying to come so come 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 beautiful Mm, it's a gorgeous song and uh, one of the women actually in this um, group she started this 
Yeah, incredible thing, connecting Palestinians and Arabs and Jews from all, women only. Mm. And they did a huge march and they mm. sang. They walked and dressed in white and there was thousands yes, of them I've and they that. sang. Uri. It's so beautiful. As a country local, which age group do you think is more likely to die on a country road? 18 to 25. Well, I think they drive a bit more recklessly than uh, us older fellows. Actually, men aged 30 to 59 make up the majority of fatalities on country roads. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. That really does surprise me. People of the North Coast. On average, 38 locals die on our roads each year. Our mates, our families, us. The road is no place for excuses. A message from the New South Wales Government. Sponsors of Bay FM. The cooler months are rolling in and you needn't feel the chill while lounging in your pool. Mullumbimby Pools are your local pool heating specialist. Solar, gas or heat pumps, we have the solution for you. Or perhaps your pool is looking dated. We can help with a full renovation. We can offer professional service and advice, pump and chlorinator repairs, electronic leak detection and regular maintenance for commercial and residential properties. We also do Zodiac Magnapool premium mineral pool conversions and are a Zodiac titanium dealer and authorised warranty agent. So don't put off looking after your pool and contact your local family-owned business, Mullumbimby Pools, today. Sponsors of Bay FM. Bay FM 99.9, the community voice of Byron and beyond. On air and online. That's right, Bear FM, 99.9 FM, the beautiful community voice, your local radio. And, of course, heard globally around the world through our podcast and on our website, bearfm.org. And if you have been listening to us for a while, I highly recommend you jump um, on Give Us a Call, 68087999, and, yeah, subscribe to Bear FM. I'm a big subscriber for many years, way before I came on on air and it just helps us there's you know really affordable plans and it just helps BFM basically stay afloat we're totally not for profit and yeah and and it does cost a lot of money to run a radio station and keep it going it's been going for 25 years you know mostly due to community support so 
Yeah, good on you, amazing community, and definitely hop on board if you haven't so already and you can and you can do so. I'm Analia Tia, this is the Pregnancy Birth and Beyond show, and we are talking about women's circles and the value of um, women gathering, and our beautiful guest today is Vanessa Wood, um, mother of two, practicing naturopath, shamanic woman's craft, um, sorry, shamanic craft. 